And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Edgeworth Investigations 2. I am your host, Megan Shadow Fist. I suck at video games, I suck at commentary. And uh, when we last left off, we were trying to figure out the trajectory of this bullet. So we're supposed to figure out where the two paths cross. Now, initially I put it here because, like, you could see that it shoots. Like, you could do both of these, but I guess it doesn't really count for this one. But they cross. Am I just dumb or something? I guess you could shoot from here, too. That'd be kind of stupid, though. Like, if he shot from here, where the security was, and he d he missed his target, that would be completely idiotic. Wait a minute. No one's died in this case, have they? No, there is blood. There is blood, so someone got shot. The two paths cross. Boom! Hold on, so, two bullets were fired, and the two paths cross. I'm just not, I, I just don't think I'm understanding, like, what he's saying properly, because I'm stupid. Where the two, there's two bullets that were fired, and where the two paths cross. And, so there's one here. What if he fight? I'm, I'm... I need to see the explanation one more time, because, like, I'm not, like, this isn't... Let me see. Like, that's clearly wrong. Over here, that's right. The bullets really hit their mark, but no, they wouldn't. Okay, it's all said and done. Let me think. Hmm. Two shots were fired. I'm certain of it. If I follow the direct path of the bullets, the point where the two paths cross will reveal the location of the shooter. The two paths cross... That'd be, like, right here, actually, right? Because, like, you see you have, like, one line going boom, and you have one line going boom. So, like, right here. But, like, that's on the stage. What? Am I, like, am I not, am I just, like, not making any sense here? Like. Of course, you could also say, like, right. What? I'm dumb. I don't understand. Apparently, I can't do, like, basic, like, education, like, logical deductions here. The two paths cross- okay. Hmm. I'm gonna get it. I'm going to end up failing this. Oh, by the way, I haven't seen since, like, 1952. A bullet that struck both the flag and the balloon was fired from here. What if it was, like, right here? Like, it was this red spot right here, and, like, I just ignored it because I was like, No, that's, like, that's another b- <laughs> that, 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 no. There's no way it's, there's no way. Like, it can't be like that. Okay, yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> no, I'm just dumb. By the way, I should probably save, because I'm definitely going to more than likely fail this because I'm dumb. And, um, hold on. Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't save from here. Okay, well, that's okay. I'll just start the game all over again. No big deal. Uh... Goes z. Should I just, like, start guessing here? One... Two... Like, from... Like, that's sort of, like, the general area, I guess. There's, like, a cross there. What do you mean? 
mean we're the two paths? I'm, I'm, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm. Clearly, I'm just. I, clearly, there's a piece to this thing that I'm missing here. That's not making, like. I'm certain of it. If I follow the direct path of the bullets, the point where the two paths cross the reveal will reveal the location of the shooter. Like, you could shoot from there, and you could shoot from there, right there. Am I... Okay, so one, two, right there. One, two, no, it doesn't work. Like, unless it's like right here. Take that. that doesn't... By connecting the bullet marks on the flag and the balloon, we learned the bullet's trajectory. It's likely that the bullet was fired from the left side of the audience area. Judging from the bullet holes, the shooter probably stood on the left side of the audience area. Bullet trajectory added on in the organizer. Just what I expect from Mr. Edgeworth! But the... 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 they don't... they don't intersect there, I don't... Whatever. Detective Gumshoe, I'd like to investigate the left side of the audience area. Yes, sir! Wait, you mean you have- we, we have to move all these people? Yes, there's no time. We could be losing vital evidence for every second we let slip by. Let's go ahead and say, by the way. Did the game suspend play? Yes, please. Okay, continue. From save point. Okay. We almost heard. Yes, sir! Mentor number two! For a second, I thought that was going to be freaking, um, whatchamacallit's, uh, theme song. You know, uh, the shuckster, if you will. Mentor number two! Hey, mentor number two! Phineas Filch. Miss Swift, I assume you're addressing me? Of course, mentor number two! This is my time to shine! I'm an expert at crowd dispersal. Light the torches, release the hounds, and run them down! I appreciate your help, but please do not use those methods. Also, please stop addressing me as your mentor. I never agreed to that position. Oh, it's probably senpai, senpai in the Japanese version, eh? I hear ya! I'll try to keep that in mind, mentor! I mean, prosecu Mr. Prosecutor! I hate I, I I don't I don't like being called senpai. I hate I hate I hate being called that. It's it's, it's gross to me because like so many like uh there's a certain type of like anime fan slash internet user that's kind of made me loathe the word quite a bit. Mr. Edgeworth, we're ready to begin the investigation, sir. Miss Swift, here was all the well, here here was all over the crowd helping us round him up, sir. Hey, nothing compared to my first mentor's mob wrangling skills. She seems to be used to this sort of thing. However, Miss Swift, all that running around seems to have caused you your clothes to be covered with mud. I'll take care of the cleaning bill, if you like. Eh? Oh, you're talking about my parka? Don't you worry your fancy little head about that. It's reversible, so I can just re I can just flip it around later. It's good as new. Except now you got mud all over yourself. That won't do much for mud stains, though. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, let's restart the investigation, sir. The crowd has made a mess of the crime scene. I hope some traces of the criminal are still left behind. Begin investigation. Core Lake Park audience area. Okay. Wait, is that pain? This is a terrible incident indeed, Mr. Edgeworth. Who is this man again? I, Winston Payne, am willing to assist as a prosecutor. He <laughs> he He's a prosecutor. Why did you come here to why did you come here today? He he he! He 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 he. Wait, four? No, it's supposed to be three. I accompany the chief prosecutor. 
Hmm, his voice sounds like the one that I heard on the tape earlier. Was he one of the men standing in front of Miss Swift? And where is the chief now? The chief is a busy man! He has special permission to leave the premises! The chief called me here, and then left by himself. I'm not completely satisfied with this. Okay. About the case. Did you come here to, co to cover the welcoming event? You betcha! I wouldn't have missed it for the world! Merity, let's up for two bet. What time did the event start? It started after the rain stopped pouring. It'd been raining all morning long. The president's plane got here at 1.45 p.m. Then, the president began his speech at around 2 p.m. So he started only 15 minutes after landing. That was... When did the shooting occur? Like, they must... Have, like, 15 minutes after landing is actually really quick, I think. Because, like, you know, like, they had to have everything... Everything was all nice and set up already. Because, like, normally, you know, you, you give the press the time to, like, set up their shot and everything. And... I don't know. Um, I reckon it happened sometime around 2.20 p.m. So it occurred about 20 minutes after the speech began. Yep! It was right then! The sound of gunshots ripped through the air! And the poor old president collapsed on stage! And that's what went down. On March 25th, 2.25 p.m. at Gort Lake Park. I have a Java update. Okay, and Outlook. Uh... In Japanese, saying that my account has not been set up properly. What was that all? What was that all of a sudden? Oh, that! I was just recording some notes. It's for my report. If I think of something good, I take note of it right away. It ain't often you get the chance to cover a presidential assassination. Gotta make it dramatic and heart wrenching. I'm gonna write me one action back article. Did the president actually collapse on stage? The bodyguards escort escort him on to the plane, sir. Ah, uh, y'all have to pardon my embellishments. Sometimes I get a little carried away. It seems that it would be best if I took this woman's testimony with a grain of salt. Reporter. Well now, I guess you could call me a reporter. It sure sounds different when somebody else calls you that. Reporter Nicole Swift. Yep, it's got a nice ring to it. Just to be clear, you are an actual reporter, correct? In training! What? Then how many articles have you written so far? Zilch. Oh, you mean like actual published works? Not at the moment. Yet, you still call yourself a reporter? Well, this case is gonna put me in the spotlight. I didn't capture the whole entire speech perfectly! No bloopers at all! A lot of hearts said the same thing in case 1-4. She said the same thing in case 2- Well, oh, actually no, did she say anything like that in case 2-1? Like, I captured- Not 2 Yeah, 2-1, 2-1, yeah, um... Yeah, it was 2-1. Not 2-1, 2-2, 2-2. With this mock- Oh, and then 2-4? She was in 2-4, but you know. Was a lot of heart in, uh, Trials and Tribulations? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I can't recall her being in Trials and Tribulations. I'm gonna be a shining star in the broadcast world, just like my mentor. Your mentor. So, Mr. Prosecutor, how do you know my mentor? You're the one who brought up the subject. Um, I may or may not have said something like that. As a reporter, you should take responsibility for your words. But my mentor always tells me a reporter should always leak information freely. <laughs> okay. What a public nuisance. She told me that when she gave me this hair tape recorder. Get out there and record all the scandalous scoops you can get. So you create smoke where there's no fire. Fire. I am amazed you call yourself a reporter. I don't start the fires. I just fan out the smoke. As far as wide as I far and wide as I can, Billy Joel. Isn't that what I just said? 
Okay. You are with the television crew, are you not? Oh, um, that's right, but... Then you must have recorded the speech. I'd like to see the footage. Yeah, um, about that. That will be difficult. What was that, pal? It's your duty as a citizen to cooperate with the investigation. After the incident, the guest knocked over the TV camera in panic. All the footage was lost. Wait, how? But... So... Since, like, they tend to go kind of old school here, it's assuming they recorded on, like, a cassette tape. Right? Actually, that's not necessarily old school. There's still some places that actually do record with analog footage. You... I bet you didn't know this, but actually, I learned relatively recently, a lot of airline... Flight, you know, like, in-flight entertainment and airline places, like airplanes, get this, so a lot of those movies that you saw was actually, up until about 2015 was right when like most like airlines stopped using it, they used, um, not an 8-track, but a, uh, cause 8-track is audio, but like a, um, a, a high 8 cassette tape, like video cassette tape, in 2015, yeah, but then, but anyway, um, uh, I mean, that would have broken the camera, but the footage should still be salvage salvageable, whether it was analog or digital. If there was any footage left, it could have been vital evidence. Yeah, it's too bad, sir. <laughs> what was that? Looks like you're a gem, Mr. Ashworth. That voice. I knew it! K Faraday! Of course, like, her theme song is, like, super slow. K! Okay, now I'm gonna have to come up with a voice for her. Under normal circumstances, I'd probably give her, like, the Athena voice or something, but, like, canonically, I don't like doing double voices like that. And, like, since these take place in the same universe. From my understanding, actually, these games are technically canon, it's just that they haven't been referenced in the main series. Uh, I guess I'll kind of give her, like, that, the voice that Garkon gave her, like, that. Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. The hero of this is not what he sounded, this is not what Garkon sounded like. Um. Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. The hero of justice. I don't know what voice is this. K Faraday is here to save the day. Hero. I guess you wouldn't refer to herself as a heroine. So, have you given up on this great thief business yet? <laughs> yeah, nope, I haven't stopped. I'm just on vacation. I'm still a train to become the second yet yet Yaragarasu. About two weeks ago, this girl became involved in one of my cases. The mysterious phantom thief, the Yatagarasu. The case of a gentleman thief who steals the truth for the sake of justice. The truth! This girl's a successor to that great thief. If you need to pick a locker or untie a rope, leave it to me. I don't... Come on, we have, we have to come up with a better voice than this. Um... I'm Kay Faraday. Kay Faraday. I don't know, I don't know what voice this is. Yeah, if you need to pick up a locker or untie a rope, leave it to me. But, since I'm still in training... I haven't actually stolen anything yet. Of course, as per usual with all WIP voices, by the end of the series her voice is going to sound completely different, that's just how it's going to be. Anyway, Akrapa, see you guys in the next episode.